until now um, we already talked about the material the uh, idealized uh, curve of the material and we already uh, consider three examples simple example uh, a place with a hole then a hot roll section with the resident stress and uh, a three bar structure uh, in this part i am going to talk about the moment curvature relationship okay. moment curvature relationship i'm going to talk about my versus mp and uh, m in the elastic elastic reason and I will talk about the moment curvature, moment curvature curve. And then uh, one more pro uh, homework problem will be provide. Okay, now let's consider the beam segment under bending. Uh, this is a beam segment, okay, under bending. Then the beam has a, a rectangular section, okay, rectangular section. The, uh, the dimension of uh, dimension of section is B and 2D, okay, 2D, not D but 2D. So let's say here's D and here's D, the depth of the section. And the length of the beam is L. So, um, now let's consider a very small part of the beam. Let's say um, unit length of the beam, one here, okay? Just consider this one. So, uh, under bending, this uh, beam is bending like this, for example, okay? So, this is curvature. It is curvature. High. Okay. But we all, all, only consider very small part here. It will be look like this. So uh, you understand this one. We just consider a unit length and moment. And it is curvature. It is curvature. And here, this is curvature then consider a, a point here okay a point here the distance between the uh, um, the uh, natural axis uh, and this point is y then we have epsilon epsilon equal to y multiplied by theta epsilon here the strain of here is y multiplied by pi. Okay. <clears throat> now, what is strain? Strain in the uh, in the con considering section in elastic phase, we have the curvature is pi. And the strain is smaller than epsilon y. Epsilon y mean the strain corresponding to ending limit state, okay, or ending point. Epsilon smaller than epsilon y. It is elastic. If the moment is increased, then we have epsilon will be equal to epsilon y. And it is initial ending. Okay, in initial ending phase, we have the curvature here, pi y equal to epsilon y divided by d. You know d, right? And pi y, the curvature corresponding to initial ending, equal to epsilon y d or uh, divided by d. Okay. Keep increasing the moment. Then we have elastic, elastic phase. 
Now, here, strain here, greater than epsilon y. Okay, greater than epsilon y. So, here is epsilon y. So, this part is plastic, but the rest part is elastic. So, it is elastic and plastic. Okay, so at this point, sigma upper line equal to epsilon y divided by pi. Pi is curvature. Then pi greater than pi y, of course. It is pi y. Okay, then, okay, here, epsilon y I already mentioned. In this case, we have elastic and plastic phase. Then, the last phase is fully plastic, fully plastic. So let's say um, whole section is plastic. Okay, fully plastic. How about stress? Stress at the um, elastic, we have uh, sigma equal to elastic modular multiplied by strain sigma equal to e epsilon and the moment here equal to e i pi so here is moment and here is curvature then here is stiffness of the section okay so we have sigma max sigma max is here equal to m divided by s Okay, you already know this equation, right? Or m equal to sigma max multiplied by s. Then sigma max is here. Okay, sigma max. That is elastic. So you are very, very uh, familiar with this equation. Now, uh, uh, ending limit state. Sigma y, sigma equal to sigma y here. And my equal to ei pi y. You have pi y, pi y. And my equal to this. Or sigma y equal to my divided by s. Or in another word, we have my equal to this one. You, you know s, right? At equal to 2 over 3 b d squared. <clears throat> so we have my. This is elastic plastic phase. In this phase, we have this part is fully plastic, and this part is elastic. And uh, uh, y apply equal to epsilon y divided by pi. Okay, so. What is M? M is greater than MY, but smaller than MP. But what is M? We will, I will talk about, we are going to talk about this one later. In fully plastic phase, okay? Fully plastic phase means all an obsession is fully plastic. So sigma equal to sigma Y. Then by uh, 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 taking the equilibrium, then we have MP equal to PD square multiplied by sigma Y. Okay, PD. So compare with MY here, we have MP equal to 3 over 2 MY. You can compare, okay? Here is MY and here is MD, uh, MP. And MP equal to 3 over 2 and y. So now you have m and m and pi at the elastic and here is um, yielding limit state m y m y equal to this one and pi y. Okay, you have pi y already mentioned in the previous uh, uh, page and you have MP and also PIP 
mp equal to b d uh, square sigma y and you don't know m between m y and m p okay Okay, now let's talk about MY and MP. Um, <clears throat> this is MY and this is MP. And they have um, some relationship with, with together, okay? MY and MP. Now compare MY and MP. A shape factor F is the ratio between MP and MY. So now you understand MP. What is MP? MP is plastic moment or fully plastic moment. MY is ending moment. Okay, an ending moment. So the moment corresponding to ending limit. Okay, so ratio between MP and MY is shape factor. So how about the rectangular section that we are mentioning about? The rectangular section. We have F equal to MP over MY equal to 3 over 2 or equal to 1.5. Right? That is um, <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Shift factor F for six rectangular section MP over MY equal to 1.5. Okay. So for different section, we have different shape factor. For example, here we already mentioned rectangular section F equal to 1.5, I section F equal to 1.12 uh, 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 to 1.40, or for a uh, circle section we have F equal to 1.7, and so on. So, different section has different shape factor, okay? Shape factor shape factor equal to um, MP over MY. In another word, the relationship between MP and MY depends on the shape of the section. Okay? Again, relation between the uh, elastic moment and el elastic moment <clears throat> depends on the shape of the section different shape, section shape have different factor okay so you can see here um, the type of section so the same the same uh, value of the moment okay the same value that is important okay what is meaning of the big value? What is meaning of the big value? If the big value mean the difference between the MP and MY, the gap between the MP and MY is big. That is not good, right? That is not good for um, elastic design. But for plastic design, it's safe. A safety factor, a safety distance is a curve. Okay. <clears throat> um, M in the plastic, elastic, plastic reason. Okay, the moment in the elastic and plastic reason. This is um, the section. Okay. This is section, rectangular section, and this is strain diagram, and this is straight diagram corresponding to elastic, plastic region. 
in in strain we have sigma uh, y apply equal to epsilon y over pi then uh, in stress we have uh, this part is sigma y and uh, here is sigma sigma small and sigma y depending on the location on the section it means de depending on the, the value of y okay so now to determine m we can take the integration okay from zero to uh, y apply and the integration from y apply to d what does it mean this part okay this part is integration of the elastic part okay elastic part and this part is integration of the plastic part okay so this is elastic part and this is plastic part okay just this so take integration then we have moment very simple okay let's see the integration of this part equal to 2 p uh, uh, sigma y and 1 over y apply on third of y uh, uh, apply a power of 3 and plus this one okay you can check you can check very simple and shortening it then we have this equation or more shorten then we have m equal to this equation it is moment is function of sigma y and b and d b and d mean a section okay and here is y upper line square so this one y apply and divide by six okay so for more convenience let's see we already have my equal to this one okay i already mentioned this is s okay this is s then my multiplied by similar s equal to this one so m divide my m p m divide m y equal to this equation divide by to this equation m divide m y okay then we have this equation okay now we have m divide m y equal to this equation it is a function of d and y upper, upper line okay so d is here and y applied we have this one this razor equal to this one and subtly equal to this one pi y over pi you already have pi y okay then now uh, it, it is pi you return pi y finally we have m equal to this equation so m is function of m y and pi y and pi okay so it means you you already have pi y and m y so very simple we have moment is a function of curvature function of curvature okay so in this case now we have moment in the elastic plastic region as an equation a function of the curvature so let's see here if pi equal to pi y pi equal to pi y then we have m equal to m y if pi equal to infinity uh, pi equal to infinity then 
m equal to mp. It means a pi equal to infinity, then we have plastic moment. Okay, m equal to plastic moment. This okay, then we have elastic moment. Here is plastic moment. Okay. <clears throat> That is a moment in the elastic and plastic region. Okay, so now finally we have moment curvature curve. Moment and curvature curve of the rectangular beam under bending. The first phase is elastic, okay, then it is linear. And this point is elastic limit, elastic limit or ilim point corresponding to the elastic moment, moment uh, limit. We have my and pi y. Then it is elastic limit. At this point, we have sigma equal to sigma y. From here to here is elastic plastic phase so here this part is plastic and the rest part is elastic and then it is curve and we have equation right m is a function of pi we already mentioned in the previous uh, page okay and at this point is fully plastic mp fully plastic it is sigma y sigma y fully plastic okay from here so we have mp mp okay so this is very common moment curvature curve of the rectangular section okay rectangular section so different section has different curve okay different section has different curve maybe the first part is similar but the rest part is, is different so um, you have to also consider a different section with different moment curvature curve okay all right now it's time to give you one more problem for the homework. Um, I will give you one more problem. Problem uh, 1.3 in the textbook. Uh, 